Mm -mm -mm. That's some first class pie. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. My car is parked outside. If you could join me as soon as possible, I'll be doubly grateful. Gentlemen, I'm closing up. Time to move along. So early? What are you talking about, Ness? Are you serious? Do your job! Friendly. I'm sorry, guys. I have to close up. Today's meal is on the house. Oh, yeah? Tomorrow's, too. Or I'm not coming back. You got that? Fuck you. Whatever you, you say, Dickinson. You want more chili sauce? Is that what you want? I like that this game is both horribly dark but also really stupid at the same time. I kind of love it. It's the, it's, I feel like it's kind of like easy going at the same time. Yeah. It's like if Dark Dreams Don't Die didn't suck. Yeah. I should have loaded it into Docker's gun and shot Capone. Maybe it would have jammed again. But one way or another it would all be over. Well, he's probably gonna hire us to like go find the kids or something because he's like kids need to be protected. Kills his family and flees Tuesday, June seventh. Morning, rapist. Killed this morning, family. Osmond Burke, the condemned rapist of Vermont and son of the rich tycoon Jebediah Burke, killed. Killed his family in what is supposed to be an ra a rage attack. Now an unknown whereabouts and charged with death penalty. This dangerous fugitive is being something, hunted by something. the being hunted by the FBI. Okay. It's like ha 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 horribly dark story. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Well, they left a tip, but I don't understand really what their deal is. Suck it, Ness. Thanks for all the chili sauce. Give me free food. And we're like, yeah, okay. You can just go Oh, wow. Home. There's lots of missing kids. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. What? This is just cool. <laughs> you took like a deep breath and then... Yeah. At last, Mr. Ness. Please get in. I could swear I've seen your face before. Sure. I'm the guy you served a slice of blueberry pie to five minutes ago. Thanks for remembering me. Please get in. I can't afford for you to catch a cold. It's not cold outside? We've got a jacket on. Never follow a stranger. <laughs> Was this the 1950s? I don't understand. Does it look like the 50s? Before it was the 20s because they had prohibition or? I'm confused. That would make this the like the forties. The forties or the fifties, yeah. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh, this looks bad. What? We transported? <laughs> uh or I like how it's just black and white and red. That's the whole color palette. That's all we get. Yeah. I like it, though. We'll be going up in a couple of minutes. I'll wait for you in the cable car. Up where? Ah, it's a masquerade! Did you say masquerade? Yeah, it's a masquerade. Oh, masquerade ball Venice. Masquerade, Dead their faces on parade. Can't sing songs because we'll get copyright claimed. Oh. 
So we'll have to change the words. Face, words. We're changing da, the da, da, words. Da, da. We're in a game. Hide your face so the video game cannot be claimed. Uh, is it going to be two Asian ladies with dragon tattoos? Oh, I can't move the camera angle. So I guess that's a clue as to what... The Hindenburg. Her forced landing in New Jersey almost cost the lives of over 100 passengers. Ah, alternate reality. Almost. Yeah, so that one didn't the explode. Hindenburg, yeah. Yeah, nearly a fireball in the Nearly. Air. Yeah. It burned down half the city. Huh. So it never did. So it's okay. Yeah. Yes, because I don't know if you guys remember, but the Hindenburg was like a blimp, and they used hydrogen, I think, or helium. Or it wasn't helium, it was hydrogen. Hydrogen, yeah. And so they used hydrogen, which is flammable. Ah, Dude, you've made a mistake. Um, but that's where the term, oh, the humanity comes from, because the person who was live announcing it was seeing it happen. Oh, the humanity! That's literally what he said, because he was so, like... Holy fuck. Yeah, because he just saw a hundred people go down in flames. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. Oh. Hmm. So now, I guess, uh... Whatever it's called, those things can now blimps. Blimps have replaced airplanes as the standard way to transport. luxury travel. Damn. Give Are, me a soda. Is every drink machine broken? We've lost. We've already wasted twenty cents on soda. Okay, let's go. Awkward silence. Scared of heights. Nah. <laughs> Lie. Not at all. You? <laughs> no. No. You're a liar. No, you're a liar. I'm not scared. You're scared. Yeah, I have one. How high does this thing go? Higher than the clouds. Whoa. Wow, cool. Wow. So he just has a permanent slip in the sky? That's neat. I want to be it's a crime It's very villainy. I want to be a crime... Oh, yeah. Who would have thought that the man with the blimp in the sky was the villain who Ooh. never comes down to ground and is and covered an in evil, red letters and has an evil lair that flies in the sky? I never would have guessed that he was the bad guy. <laughs> Like, come on, this is totally an evil lair. This is an evil billionaire lair. This is like <laughs> Tony Stark, but If he evil. was evil. Whoa. I would not be able to stand on that. I can't, I wouldn't be able to. You seeing this? Yeah. So you know what's especially crazy is that, imagine at this time, like, no, People don't fly all the time. So all these people And they don't just... have they don't even have buildings that are super super tall. So it's like there is no reason ever for people to be like this far above the ground. And they're probably freaking out. Yeah. Right? Or they think it's really awesome, you know? Uh-oh. Aw. Welcome to his majesty's evil lair. If he comes in holding a cat, oh my god. And stroking it. <laughs> Hello, welcome, Pinky Ring. I hope he's hot. Yeah. Villains. Villains are either like super not hot. Or super hot. 
Sometimes they end up being like, at first you think they're like super not hot, but then their personality like, is like, oh, I hate you. And then they're like, no, I'm just very dangerous and mysterious. And you're like, oh, okay. like sometimes they'll be like, oh, half my face is missing. But then you're like, whoa, half your face is missing. <laughs> like you kind of start to get into but it. Like half your face is missing, man. I would understand you. Like I would be the only one who understands you. I'm afraid you. I can't come with you. <laughs> Thanks for the pie. But Welcome to the Grand Hindenburg Hotel. My name is Susan, and I'm glad to be of service. Your name, please? Uh, what? Real name. Ness. Elliot Ness. Thank you, Mr. Ness. Nice choice. Sounds genuine. And now, how can I help you? I'm here to see Mr. Capone. There's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Ness. It's kind of annoying me that a bunch of, like, white ladies are wearing Chinese stuff, but it's, like, that's, A, I don't know. I mean, I can't complain all the time constantly, but I am. It's just annoying me a little. Uh, cunning. Listen, Susan, I know more than 60 aliases for Al Capone, so you have two options. One is to delay my appointment with him until I guess the right one, which he is not going to like. The other is to send me through, and earn my eternal gratitude and his. Your call. He's... he's in the presidential suite. Top floor at the end of the red carpet. Thank you, Susan. Have a pleasant stay at the Grand Hindenburg Hotel, Mr. Ness. You know who he kind of looks like? Who? Just a little bit. Just Your attention, to please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in three minutes. Well, Just enough to make me think he's kind of cute. He kind of reminds me of Harrison Ford. Ah, there you go. That's it. Yeah. That's it. He had, like, th his face kind of looks like Harrison Ford. And I'm kind of, like, looking at him and being like, oh, he does seem like that kind of Indiana Jones, like, listen, Susan, you can make me guess every alias, but I will find him. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good guy, but he's kind of bad. He's like a bad guy. I'm totally along for this ride. <laughs> <laughs> um, all about the like, white ladies wearing like Chinese stuff. It's not like it's like ruining the game for me. It's just annoying me. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna call that out right then and there. So. What kind of person can afford this kind of luxury? Large evil person. You think it's going to be a quiet day, and suddenly the storm hits you. Above the clouds. Masquerade ball. So this is like a floating hotel, which is kind of cool. Oh, maybe in this alternate reality... You can't go in there, sir. They're in rehearsal. Theater? Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. They open in a couple of nights. Perhaps Mr. Capone can get you a ticket? Capone? He's at this hotel? Gosh, I'd heard the opposite. <laughs> we're so cheeky. Oh, maybe in this alternate reality, Chinese workers were not horribly, horribly treated in the construction of the of the railways, and actually, everything's fine. That's actually possible because everyone else seems to be fine. So I'm like, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's maybe like, everybody's fine. Yeah, maybe like, like we don't have the they don't have the problem of cultural appropriation because there wasn't a horrible. Thing. Because everybody is just like one big happy melting pot? Yeah, m maybe. <laughs> no, we're gonna go with well, that. Well, yeah, let's go with that. That's we're what's happening. We're gonna go with that. It's a happy melting pot. It's a happy melting pot with horrible cults. Okay, what do I need to do? I think we need to talk to, th to the lady again. Mm, we're supposed to go up the stairs to the thing, but how do it's we. It's not letting me do that. Huh. And I can't change the angle of the camera. Oh, maybe we here have we to go. walk over here. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, look, all kinds of diversity. So let's just pretend everything's fine. Oh, what's the this thing? We're gonna look down and freak out. <laughs> snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Ah, so that's like his thing. Heights. Why did it have to be heights? Higher than the clouds. 
So, oh, here's, it, okay. Yeah. I, the geometry of the room was mixed up in my head. Yeah. Me too. No, me too. I thought it was, like, over to that side. Yeah. Here we go. Exciting walking gameplay. Here we are. This is really cool, Your though. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. Ooh. I like how they just let us wander up here. There's people just walking around. Okay. It's fine. It's an evil person's lair. I mean, what are we going to do? Be more evil? Told and you it's an evil lair. This is like... This is... Yeah, you're right. This, this whole is thing definitely... just spells evil lair to hey, me. Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. He has a goatee. I mean, he's evil. Yeah. Right? I, you know, I dated a guy with a soul patch once, so I can confirm. Ew! Yeah. Was he a douche? Yeah. Exactly. And it was like, I feel. The cleaners up here deserve every cent they make. I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world. Okay, what were you saying? I feel like I feel really bad that it ever happened because it was just like you should have known. Was, I should have known right away. With the soul patch, and that's right, we are soul patch shaming. <laughs> We feel completely validated in our choice to soul patch shame right now. <laughs> I I think there's like, you know, facial hair can take many different shapes and forms. How you choose to express your facial hair. Uh, cynicism. <laughs> what? No, optimism. Someday, maybe. With that lady cop, man. Yeah. I mean, the age difference is kind of gross. Age difference. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> But I'm kind of into it. <laughs> I'm kind of into him, like, getting with the lady cop, though. And him giving her pie all the Except time. Except that she called us a dad. So. I don't know. I feel like that whole pie conversation. She's like, all right, dad. And he's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's kind of, I was like. She I, sees me like a dad. I was really feeling that pie conversation, though. <laughs> I, am, am I alone in, inter in interpreting that pie conversation? That pie means something sexual? Yeah, it felt very pie like, hey, you got any pie for me? Yeah, I got some pie for you. And I was like, yeah, pie. Right? Yeah, we're saying something right now, right? And they're like, nope. Not nope. saying anything. No, we are not. Did we finally get one? Damn. That's 30 cents down Come the drain. On. 